up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi hello welcome my name is grace i'm a farmer photographer a welder and now a youtuber i guess and today we're gonna be working on the planner but first i got a lot of people in my comments from my last video asking if i shut the battery off uh so now i'm wondering if it was shut off so we're gonna go check but i'm pretty sure my dad shut it off i didn't shut it off because i forgot like a doofus but i'm gonna go check right now moment of truth. Was it shut off? Ah. It's off. See it? I ordered this flagging emergence kit thing from Precision Planting and I'm about to go open it. See what that's all about. Nice. Open it up here. I saw a lot of people talking about this and I decided to try it because why not? It comes with obviously flags, right? Oh, it comes with a pen! Sick! Okay, let's see what it's all about. The emergence flagging kit contains all the tools you need to identify your plant's emergence date, allowing you to compare all season long right up to yield differences at harvest. Cool! Oh! It's got a how to flag. Tools included. Flags, pen, worksheets, tools needed, tape measure. I keep that on me all the time. It's in my truck right now. Day one, step one, measure off a section of a row to flag. We recommend one one thousandth of an acre. Below are common row width conversions for reference. Okay, and I just have like a chart. Day one, step two, place white flags at the boundaries of your measured out section. Drop a pen in a map app on your phone. So basically for four days you place flags on all the newly emerged plants and then pre-harvest you can record ear size, number of pods, whatever crop it is that you're flagging. So we'll probably do corn and soybeans considering that's what we grow. Here's the worksheet for corn and here's the worksheet for beans. So with those worksheets we can compare like how the corn did if it emerged on the first day or the second day, third day, fourth day. Oh, and then it's got some FAQs. Cool, so I'm excited to use this. This is not sponsored by Precision Planting. I'm just like really excited to uh, try this out. And this kit is free. If you go, um, I think on their website, I'll try and link it below if I can remember or like up here. Oh God, what side is it? This side. It's up here. I'll link it up here uh, if you guys want to get your own. But it was free. You just got to put your uh, email in and of course your address so they can send it to you. So now we're going to go work on the planner. I'm not really sure what's been done since the last little video that I did because I was out of town and with Hyde having to go to the vet all the time. There was a lot of times that I was um, absent. So I'm back at it today. I've also been working on some things behind the scenes. But yeah. We are going to go work on the planner today and get a little update for you guys on what all we've done so far and what all's left to do before planting season starts. Oh, it's been hectic. It has been hectic in my life here recently. about a change of plans huh yeah uh so that was my brother's car that caught on fire and um got it put out everybody's fine everybody's okay he's fine it sucks that it happened but it it happened there's nothing you can do about it but make the best of it so uh, i'm just glad everybody's okay nobody got hurt nobody else's car was uh injured in the process no planting prep happening today. Yeah, more important things, obviously. And for everybody who says I'm not fashionable, what is this? What is this? This is the definition of fashion. I'm pretty much from Paris. 
Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wouldn't you agree? I'm trendy. Can't say that I'm not. He gave you a kiss. Oh. Um, little update on Hyde. He's doing okay. He's been a really good boy. I clean his I clean his cut every night and he's never thrown a fit. He's always let me do what I need to do to make sure that it's clean. He takes his antibiotics like he's supposed to because he is just such a good boy. You wanna show him? This is what it's looking like. Let's see it. Ah. Okay. I don't really know if you could see that or not, but he's just been a really good sport. Haven't you, Hyder? He hasn't even acted like it's bothered him. I bet it hasn't. I just love him. Okay, so what we're working on today is getting these pins in and even and tightened down and all that good stuff. What those pins are is what holds the gauge wheels on, which I will show you. These are all the old gauge wheels along with all the old arms and pins. We're replacing it all because these arms, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see that in there, but they've got little indentions in them. We're replacing those, we're replacing the pins because you can see on that one, it's just wore out. And all these gauge wheels, they're pretty worn out too. So we're replacing all of it and we're just working on getting the pins back in and I'll tighten down. So now I'm just going through checking all of the all of these discs to make sure the bearings in them are okay. Because we're not replacing all these, just the ones that need replacing. I think, right? Huh? We're just replacing the ones that need to be replaced? We're replacing the ones that have a bad bearing in them. We're gonna run the openers one more year. Usually you can tell just by looking at them. Yeah. Because if if you got a bearing out, you look down here, the blades don't touch each other. They're mm -hmm. Did you already take that one off? Yeah, but there's another one over here. See how they're not touching real good right there? Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below and check out my merch at farmergrace.com and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.